Hi, welcome to the Eternal Spirit Show. I'm Paul Salmon, I'm a psychic medium, and I have another, well, two more guests today. They are Sheena and Ian Cundy. Hello, chaps. Hello, Hello Paul. Paul. Nice <laughs> to see you again. And you? Because we saw you some time ago, Sheena, with your sister Tanya. Yes. If yes. you remember. I do recall. <laughs> Going back a while. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, husband and wife, or partners, whatever you want yeah. to call yourself. Husband. But I knew you a long time ago as Kundalini Drive. What's happened to Kundalini Drive? Yeah, well, um, it's over to you with that one, Sheena, I think. Kundalini Drive were, was a duo, Ian and I were in, as you know. We, yeah. That's how we met, didn't we, at yeah. the Woodbridge Folk Festival. Um, and we, we were going for how long? About 10 years? A few years, 10, yeah. 12 years. I was always badgering Ian to start a band to be in a band and he kept saying to me you don't want to be in a band no it, it's very awkward I've I've been in bands for many years you know so um, I been very aware of what it's like because we had such a good thing as a duo with the chemistry between us writing the songs and making the music that it's sometimes awkward to then bring in another energy if you get the right person it can work but it can be very hard actually getting the band together um, but I bowed and uh, Sheena had got away yeah yeah so we we just decided to add on probably about I think it was 2009 2010 four or five years ago and we got Jim our bass player who's still with us now he started he was one of our early members, members that's right um, and yeah, we, we kind of, we've been through a few mm -hmm. since then. <laughs> uh, people have come in, gone out again, but we, um, and we're going through a bit of a transition period at the moment, um, whereas our other female singer has just gone um, to sort of explore her own musical pathway. Yeah, that's right. And, um, but we're still good friends. Mm -hmm. And so we just sort of trying out somebody new um, the other day aren't we yeah really? i think we we're, we're, we're firm believers paul in that um if you work in such a way that sometimes the right person comes in i don't know you probably sort of find that with sort of some things yeah. that you do in life is that you can go for forever and ever advertising and it's never right but just I, I don't know, just sort of allowing the energy and allowing the right person to come to you is sometimes the best way, yeah. you know. Because that's Kundalini Drive. I say Kundalini. Is it Kundalini? Kundalini. Kundalini Drive. Mm. Yeah. I noticed when I saw you for the first time, well, it's a spiritual name anyway, but your songs were based on spiritual awareness and what have you. Mm. But now you're called Morgan's Path, and you, you, your songs are more about a... A deeper level, or maybe more folky pagan type mm. field, yeah. I believe. Mm. Yeah, Morrigan. The Morrigan is significantly, significantly one of the most powerful Celtic deities, mm. and I sort of, for one, am very sort of. I feel very akin to her, her energy, um, in all its all its aspects. I mean, she's the goddess of battle, sex, mm. death. Um, you know, she's the warrior, she's the prophetess, she's the crone, mm. she's the fairy queen. Um, and I feel that I can identify with all those aspects individually. Um, and so my writing, as I write most of the songs, um, reflects that. Mm -hmm. um, and being sort of pagan as well, we're all kind of under that pagan umbrella. Um, everybody shares that common sort of spirituality. But yes, it is more a little bit more defined now in, in with the goddess path. Right. I know. I noticed that Definitely. over the years with with Kundalini Drive, and because yeah. I've, I've seen I've seen mm. you, I've seen you yeah. singing and what have yeah. you. It's deeper, meaningful. Yeah. Well, yeah. Everything, you, everything changes. Yeah. 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 I mean, obviously, we we had Riches, the, the the CD, the first album that we sort of done, and we had a great time recording, uh, writing and recording that. And if you do actually listen to the songs and the meanings of that, they were sort of reflecting the spiritual aspect of what the duo was about at the time. At that time, yeah. You, you know, it was quite um, personal, wasn't it? it oh, very personal. Very personal. Yeah, very we, personal. Had, we hadn't long been together and it was all a bit, oh, lovey-dovey. 
How did you meet that? <laughs> Tell us um, how you met. Many years ago. <laughs> many years ago. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, he was already married. Oh, well, that's not, <laughs> I thought you were no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it was, it was no, a long no, time ago. No, it, it, we were friends for yeah, a long time. Very, very good friends, yeah, you know. Friends. And, and Sheena had a time in her life where she went off travelling around the world, which yeah. was, you know, brought lots of experiences back and also experiences for her writing. Yeah. You know, not only. Um, with the music, but for, for her novel and you know anything else that she's sort of doing. But know. what comes first, the, the lyrics or the music? Good question. <laughs> um, I don't know. Sometimes I can sit there and I mean I play the guitar very badly, but most of the songs come from me just sitting there fiddling around with the guitar, very basic chords, um, and the the melody might come with the lyrics, or I can be out walking my dog along the sea wall um, and I can just have a lyric come in with a bit of a melody um, and then I'll match that up with with an instrument when I get back or Ian will match it up with an instrument but sometimes and especially with Morrigan's over the last few months um, I've written quite a lot of chants have you? Yeah. yeah so they haven't needed any instruments do you know what I mean so they've just come mm. to me outside in the elements and um, yeah. So, so you do feel inspired by oh, definitely higher. Yeah. Manifesting through you yourself. De yeah, I think so. And the, the music earth it, earths yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, creativity. We we earth our our gifts through that, don't we? Yeah. I, I, I think it's a reflection as well uh, uh, of the path that Sheena's taking at the moment, you know, w with the goddess and, y y you know, the other girls that she's meeting. Um, and they do use lots of chants in, you know, the, the, the like rituals and things like that. And you can't help but get caught up with it. It's very exciting, you know, and it does put a message over. Um, and it's really interesting sort of working. Um, with that and trying it, you think, wow, I, I can't put any music, can't put any stringed instrument to it because it doesn't really work. So mm. I found myself um, playing the didgeridoo, you know, mm. and uh, which is great, but um, my poor old lips do dry up and I'm <laughs> running out of breath and Sheena just keeps going on and on and I think, oh, you're going to end in a minute, you know, but it gives it a, you know, earth chant is, is, is a great song. It needs song. to practice. Yeah, I do need to practice. It does need to practice. Get my lips moving. <laughs> Yeah, so you know we we got all the all these different sort of ideas and things that, are, that gives are it that around, earthy you know. tribal sound, yeah. which I think you know we feel more connected to, don't yeah, we? That's right. But how's the feedback yeah. been with Morgan's path? It's been good. Yeah, it's been really good. Yeah, we just need more opportunities now just to get out there and play. Yeah, you know because um, Ian's in quite a lot of other bands, as are our other members. Um, I'm probably the only, I'm, in fact I am the only one, um, <laughs> who's not involved in any other music, musical projects and it's very difficult as you can imagine mm. to push something forward, whatever that is, if you've got other people that are in the group all doing other things. Um, so uh, yeah, so <laughs> it's a bit of a bone of contention between us. <laughs> but. We get over it. Yeah. Um, this other young lady that we met the other day, who's yeah. coming into the band to join us, um, luckily she hasn't got any other sort of um, musical ties. Mm. So yeah. her and I will be allies. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what inspires you, Ian? It inspires me. I just, I, what inspires me? Right, right. <laughs> it didn't. Life and Sheena. <laughs> no, I just love music for. Yeah. I just love playing and performing. Every every, uh, every gig you do is different. You know, there's different people in the audience. Um, this is one of the refreshing things about um, Morrigan's at the moment mm. is the fact that we're oh. sort of, you know, trying to find our way. Mm. Um, musically and also as far as the places that we play at um, we have tried some lo local sort of pubs and things uh, and it doesn't really work to tell you the truth yeah, yeah. It, it, it just seems to be more appreciative when you're doing um, a proper like a festival where they're sort of expecting something a little bit different or they're very open mm. 
to original music, basically, because I think um, Sheena's writing is great, she's got some great lyrics, yeah. and if you can get people, rather than standing at the bar talking about the football that was on the day before... Or watching the football. Or watching the football, which is, playing. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, How inspiring. <laughs> but um, we yeah. ha have noticed that people are more attentive, they've been sitting there and listening to the lyrics mm -hmm. and coming up and wanting a CD afterwards as well, so that's good. But I think having said that, even though the lyrics are important, especially to me, um, even if you've got people that don't understand the lyrics, and this goes across the board musically, doesn't it? If you've got a good sound, mm. if you've got a good mm. melody, mm. if you've got a catchy tune, you know, then that's just mm. as important. Yeah, yeah. Do you think? Yes, yes. Yeah. But, but then again, it's your... Going back to Kundalini Drive, mm -hmm. what got me was the title of the band anyway, the name. Yeah. Because so, I've yeah. you know, been into what I'm into. Yes. And then I heard your lyrics about Michael and the angels and all yeah. this. Mm. But, mm, but yeah. How did you get into paganism? Uh, or has it always been, in, uh, it's always been effective yeah, inside I, you? Yeah, I think it's something that's probably always in you um, from early on. Um, having always been a nature lover, mm. loved animals, um, but didn't quite know how to name it until mm. you sort of go further along your path and you meet up with other people and yeah. you think, oh, you know, I'm now officially a witch or mm. whatever it is, you know, um, and then you suddenly meet all these people that are all carrying the same banner. Yeah, same banner. yeah. I, I, I think it's a, it's a matter of being happy uh, and contented in, in one thing in your life, you know, because you know, I, I don't knock any religion. I think it's great and, you know, people sort of follow whatever path that they're um, drawn to. Mm. And this just happens to be our one. Yeah, you know, So, mm. yeah, it, it just suits us, really. We had really. a lovely hand fasting a few years yeah. ago. Yeah, tell me about that. Hand oh, fasting. Oh. it was fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah, well, we decided to get married. Tie the knot. <laughs> yes. Um, and we done the official thing at the registry office with the you know our close family and everything but we just wanted that something a little bit different so we were fortunate enough to have some friends that um, uh, owned a farm mm -hmm. and they had a lovely field right on by, the, river. By, by the river Blackwater where we live um, and they said no at the end of the uh, season when we've cut the hay you, you can have it for a, for a weekend uh -huh. So we, we got a big sort of marquee and uh, invited all of our friends. All our musician friends. All of our musician just friends. Partied. Um, and, and we had the ceremony as well. The hand oh, yes, fast yeah, the hand fast. Hand fast. <laughs> not forgetting that. Yeah. <laughs> Tied our hands together <laughs> and jumped over no, the broomstick. Right, yeah. Jumped over the broomstick. Jumped over the broomstick. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Tell me about your CD though. Oh, yeah, our CD is called Call to Avalon. Where is it? Call to Avalon. You'll we'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tanya and I, my sister, when we went to we went to Glastonbury earlier on this year to do with our our little project, and um, while I was down there, it was my first trip to Glastonbury, believe it or not, um, and I was so taken with the place that I came back from that trip and um, began writing the title track to the album, which is called Call to Avalon. Mm. And luckily, I managed to secure a gig for the band um, at Beltane, which is a May, May Day sort of celebration, pagan celebration, at the King Arthur in Glastonbury. Mm. How magical. And um, finished the, the album between then, sort of March and May, mm. Um, and it gave us a deadline to finish this album because we'd started recording the album about 18 months previous in our um, bass player's kitchen on his laptop. Yeah. Um, but we finished, you know what it's like with any kind of project, if you haven't got a date in front of you, you kind of drift along, you know. Um, but having this deadline of this gig in Glastonbury, and we thought, wouldn't it be great if we could launch the album there? And so that really concentrated our mm. our work, didn't it? That's our right, heads. Yeah. We were fortunate uh, as well that we had another member that sort of came in as well, Mark. Mark. Yeah. Um, and he sort of joined us with the like some more sort of percussion as well, which added a, an extra dimension. Yeah. So we really, really uh, a lot of the songs we didn't 
totally re-record, but we had to sort of think about, well, how, how do they all fix together now, yeah. you know? So we sort of swapped a few things around and um, he also Mark, helped us. Um, yeah, Mark's very creative, very yeah. very creative, and he he's very good with the technical side of things. Mm. So he kind of finished the kind of whole production for us, didn't yeah. he? And wrapped it up. Yeah. Tied little bow. Yeah, he was he he's the one who um, is responsible for all the um, Morrigan's Path footage on YouTube. Oh, is he? Yeah, I've been watching. So that. yeah, they're you know, good, aren't they? For... Every, everything that yeah. you know, that we've got on there really is sort of down to him uh-huh. uh, put, putting things together. Right. And it's um, a great tool to have a great online tool. And of course, today with people's you know technology, I mean, Mark just filmed all those yeah. videos on, on, on his yeah. phone. Yeah, yeah. We, we had two two mobile phones with uh, like Tanya came down and helped us. Yeah, Tanya and she did, held yeah. one for, from a different angle. Yeah. Um, and, and just sort of filmed it on. That's amazing because the quality is good. Not bad at all, is it? Yeah. For amateur yeah. sort of production. But yeah. Mark loves just sitting there and mucking around with it. Well, as, as well, it, it is, I think that because we're such an earthy band and we like to be sort of fairly sort of simple and, you know, it, it probably adds to it that yeah. it's done like that, you know, not in a studio and too polished if you're, yeah. if you're with me, you know. And also, it's a wonderful way, all you've got to do is just send an email with a link mm. to YouTube and straight away people at the click can just, at a click, can see mm. what, you, what you look like, what you sound like. Mm. And like we are today. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's right. You never yeah. know where we're going to end up here. <laughs> yeah. Well we, well, we did have um, um, somebody in America, didn't we? In Phoenix? No, was it? I don't know. In, in America, that, you know, that actually yeah. has come back to us and said, "Oh, you know, we, we've heard about you." And that's originally via Facebook friends, you know, and sort of clicked. Oh, on I did the, an interview on the, on the radio, yes, a couple and, of weeks ago. You know, straight away, somebody they said, "Oh, we love your music because we've we've seen yeah. your video," and you know, it, it's the World Wide Web now. That's all it takes, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Listen, thanks for coming in. But I can't let you go without giving us a tune. Oh, a tune. Have you got your guitar? It just so happens. <laughs> just so I have to have a guitar handy. <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye to everyone at home. What is it you're going to play and sing? Um, I think we'll probably do a title track called to Avalon. Cool to Avalon. So, yeah. thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show again. We're going to leave you with Morrigan's Path with Call to Avalon. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Paul.